tremendous unity in the Republican Party, and we're working on a lot of different things. We've also had some very good updates on the virus. Uh, that's working out very smoothly. Tremendous people. Uh, it's a tremendous task force. They have done a great job. Not a good job, a great job. Uh, as you know, it's about 600 cases. It's about 26 deaths within our country. And uh, had we not acted quickly, that number would have been substantially more. But we uh, we just had a meeting on stimulus, and you'll be hearing about it soon, but it was a great meeting. There's great unity within the Republican Party. Mr. Well, I was just with the Republican senators, and it was uh, they were just about all there, mostly all there. And uh, there's uh, a great feeling about doing a lot of things, and that's one of the things we talked about. And what about the ideas proposed by Nancy Pelosi? Well, we're going to see if they came in very chopped up. Uh, a lot of them are things that you wanted to get for other things, and we're looking at the people. We're looking at uh, solving this problem. Also, some very good numbers coming out of some countries where it started earlier, and we're seeing some fairly good numbers come out of those countries. That's a good thing, including China. And uh, they've released numbers, and we've gotten some numbers from China that look pretty promising. So we'll be able to further report. Please. So what kind of you tested yourself? I mean, you for Matt Gaines and the Dutcom question. Well, I, I don't think it's a big deal. I would do it. I don't feel that uh, any reason. I feel extremely good. I feel very good. But I guess it's not a big deal to get tested, and I, something I would do. But again, uh, spoke to the White House doctor. Terrific guy, talented guy. He said he sees no reason to do it. There's no symptoms, no anything. You know what? If there were, you people would be the first to know it. You would, you would maybe even tell me about it. Yes, please. Uh, I've been briefed on every contingency you can possibly imagine. Many contingencies. A lot of, a lot of positive. Uh, different numbers, all different numbers, very large numbers, uh, and some small numbers, too, by the way. Look, right now, I guess we're at 26 deaths. And if you look at the flu, the flu for this year, we're at 8 million, we're, we're looking at 8,000 deaths. And, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of cases, but we have 8,000 deaths. So you have 8,000 versus 26 deaths at this time. With all of that being said, we're taking this unbelievably seriously, and I think we're doing a really good job. And again, the task force set it up by the Vice President has been fantastic. Why has the U.S. been so slow with testing? Other countries tested No, I think the U.S. has done a very good job on testing. Uh, we had to change things that were uh, done and that were nobody's fault. Perhaps uh, they wanted to do something a different way, but it was a much slower process from a previous administration. And we did change them. We made the changes. But the testing has gone very well. And when people need a test, they can get a test. When the professionals need a test, when they need tests for people, they can get the test. It's gone really well. Look, the biggest thing that we did was stopping the inflow of people early on. And that was weeks ahead of schedule, weeks ahead of what other people would have done. In fact, other people mostly would probably not have done it even till now. And that's made a big difference. Are you planning to fire people who are not doing their job? Are you planning to fire anyone spread the virus in the United States? No, I think the people are doing a fantastic job. In fact, uh, just today, I have it inside. Uh, Governor Newsom, Gavin Newsom, and California said tremendous. There's an article just came out. I had it inside. I showed it to the senators, and I showed them other articles, too, where governors, Democrat governors, are saying we've done a fantastic job. Gavin Newsom said there's not a thing that he's asked for that we weren't able to get him. And, you know, he's been uh, he's a critical guy, like we all are. But it was a very positive uh, s uh, statement. Uh, many Democrat governors have said that the task force and the federal government, what we've done has been terrific. Mr. President, how well would Americans be prepared for the economy to suffer? Well, this was unexpected. This was something that came out of China, and it uh, hit us in many other countries. You look at the numbers, I see the numbers with uh, just by watching you folks, I see it. It's uh, over 100 different countries, uh, and it hit the world. 
And we're prepared, and we're doing a great job with it. And it will go away. Just stay calm. It will go away. We want to protect our shipping industry, our cruise uh, industry, cruise ships. Uh, we want to protect our airline industry. Very important. Uh, but everybody has to be vigilant and has to be careful. But be calm. It's really working out. And a lot of good things are going to happen. The consumer is ready. The consumer is so powerful in our country with what we've done with tax cuts and regulation cuts and all of those things. The consumer has never been in a better position than they are right now. So a lot of good things are going to happen. Thank you very much. Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina not yet sold on the idea of a payroll tax cut. Listen here to Graham earlier today. I don't know if a payroll tax cut is the right stimulus, but we need something. You really have to keep the economy from being locked down when it comes to travel. All those jobs associated with the travel industry, I think, are most at risk. Uh, so stabilize the economy and contain the virus. How long do viruses stay on surfaces such as delivered packages? Because a lot of people are getting stuff delivered rather than going out right now. Yeah, and people are very afraid of things that came from Asia. Some package was delivered from China. I'm not worried about that. It, it, it can technically be on the surface, but the answer is several hours, not days. You're not going to get something that was mailed last week where you have any concern about that. <laughs> What about cleaning electronic devices like your phone? Researchers saying that the virus can live on inanimate surfaces like metal, glass, or plastic for up to nine days. The mayor here in New York is still briefing reporters. And Alex, talk about New Rochelle. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Bill. Of the 173 people in the state with the virus, 108 are in the same city of New Rochelle. This containment zone will close all schools and public areas within a mile radius. People can still come and go, but starting on Thursday for two weeks, all schools and public facilities will close so that they can be cleaned. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo now saying that the National Guard will also deliver food to homes. New travel restrictions are in place for Israel as the country looks to contain the coronavirus outbreak. Effective immediately, all citizens will be required if they are returning to Israel to self-quarantine for a period of 14 days. There are more than a quarter million Israelis currently traveling abroad. Starting Thursday, the new rule will also apply to tourists visiting here. Israel currently has 61 confirmed cases, according to the health ministry. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said this week that his government is focusing on developing home testing kits as Israeli companies work to develop a vaccine for coronavirus. This is a difficult decision, but it is essential for safeguarding public health, and public health comes first. This decision will be valid for two weeks. At the same time, we are making decisions to maintain the Israeli economy. In the West Bank, the town of Bethlehem remains under lockdown after 19 people tested positive for the virus there. A number of mosques were closed this week as new checkpoints are being placed around the West Bank. There does continue to be a coordination between the Israelis and Palestinians on the issue of coronavirus. Now, there are questions today about how these new travel restrictions will affect the Israeli economy that does rely heavily on tourism. Despite that, off in the distance, you can hear some music playing. Israelis celebrating the Jewish holiday of Purim at this hour. What about the self-quarantine of your House members? We got Collins, Gates, Julia Brownlee, Democrat, um, Gosar, Ted Cruz, and now Mark Meadows about self-quarantining. What, what are you worried about that? An outbreak of absenteeism well, no, and none of those individuals are sick. None of them are showing signs. They just talk to their doc. They talk are they to the doctor. Be honest. Are they no, no, no. Many of them bad? called me and said I'm about to get on the plane, but just a precaution. I'll stay here. I've been more than nine, ten days, but I show no signs of it. Just making sure. Um, it's because they were at CPAC, or because is that why? The ones that I know there, they were at CPAC, and they could have interacted in some way or come by this individual that is that does have Chinese coronavirus. Um, there's a piece in the Washington Times today. Chinese state-run media outlets have increasingly been promoting a new disinformation theory, Congressman, that the virus originated in the U.S. Reports that have prompted rumors spreading throughout China and Asia that the CIA was behind the outbreak. See, How good is that? That is so offensive because you know in January, President Trump 
ask President Xi to send our doctors, our scientists in. They wouldn't let the CDC in. They alone, would right? not let them in until it got into Italy and everywhere else. We could have contained this in China if China would have allowed us in. What were we able to do with Ebola when our experts came in? Kept it to Africa. Everything this president has done has been right and smart. The Chinese are the one to be blamed here, but you never hear that over on Capitol Hill. All they want to do is take away his ability to ban, and they want to take away his ability to keep this country safe. That is wrong. The panic spreading to the markets is a real problem. It's and, a real problem. The policy will go a long way to calming things down. And those policies, America first, stimulus, you've got to have a stimulus out there for the economy. It's got to be done. we got to. And I agree. It, this will bounce back. Today was a lot about oil, was a yeah. lot about Saudi Arabia fighting Russia. And what are they most concerned about? America being able to become energy independent. You really just have to do basic stuff that we do during flu season. Wash your hands a lot, touch your face less. Be, if you're elderly or have medical conditions, be wary about going out in public, just like we tell people to do during flu seasons. Those types of simple ideas are what's going to But you would us. fly today. I, yeah, I flew yesterday, two days ago. Yeah, I've, I've flown like three times and I'm flying Friday and flying next week and another, I mean, but that's the kind of stuff that scares me is when people, I'm not flying, I'm not going on vacation. That's the kind of stuff that could end up hurting uh, our country and, and the global economy at large. Doctor, great to see you. Thanks for coming Thanks in, for especially me. with your schedule. I really appreciate it. And sadly, it's no secret that the media is responsible for much of this panic that's gripping the country over the coronavirus. But now they're actually using the virus to attack the president's health. There's deep concern right now that the president himself could possibly, possibly have been exposed to the virus. Gates, we should point out, was also just on Air Force One with President Trump this afternoon. It's Schlapp's potential exposure might put Donald Trump just two degrees of separation away from the virus. We all just lay down our political swords, take a deep breath, like you said, and realize that all we can do is take the necessary precautions, pray and hope for the best, be wise about this. Uh, but like you said, all of the panic, it's not helping anyone individually or collectively. John Brennan, um, one of the main Russia hoax uh, crazies, of course, he thinks Trump is too selfish to actually put the country first. Watch. Donald Trump, who f throughout his entire life, he's looked at the world through a prism of how things affect his personal and financial political fortunes. And I wonder whether he's psychologically capable to put the country's well-being first and to subordinate his own interests in trying to spin things in a manner that's not going to reflect badly on him. Politics need to be damned at this point. Here's a question number one from a viewer. Kids versus adults. Are children less at risk than adults? What threats do they face, the kids? Yeah, as far as we can tell, they're less at risk of having severe disease. We don't exactly know. It may be something about their immune systems and how, how their immune systems react to the virus and the kind of havoc the virus may cause in their bodies. We think they're likely, similar to flu, uh, pretty good vectors uh, for uh, probably any of these viruses. They're pretty good vectors. So them getting sick, getting the sniffles, not too severe, but then giving it to an adult, giving it to, to grandma in a particular higher risk mm -hmm. group, that's probably the bigger concern. That's why you know some schools are being closed because they want to stop this, this constant transmission between these, these kids that aren't necessarily the most sanitary folks in, our, yeah. you know, right. <laughs> in the society. <laughs> Right. Our kids. Um, question number two, is it safe to put cell phones up against your face? Yeah, I mean, people should exercise caution. Always wash their hands well. Use hand sanitizer well because that's really the risk. You come into contact, you get it on your hands, you get it on your cell phone, and then you bring it up to your face, get it in your eyes, in your nose. Um, and so it's really all about practicing good hygiene yourself, washing your hands. But yeah, we, I think we can still use our cell phones if we do that. Uh, I still can't believe the left is trying to say that Trump should cancel his rallies. Because of the crime. So they don't want 10,000 plus people showing up to go to a Trump rally. That's convenient.